红瑞崔安的。嗯嗯。So, uh, Sphinx Alpha is a hash based signature, and it is an improved version of Sphinx Plus. We uh, improve the one time signature and return the parameter. The signature side and the sign time are slightly better than Sphinx Plus, but the verification time uh, increased for some parameter set. Uh, so hash based signature means we construct digital signature schemes from hash function only. There is no lattice, no code, no multivariable, no ISA, no elliptic curves. The good point is a uh, hash based signature is uh, is probably the most conservative assumption for post quantum cryptography. The bad points are uh, first, hash based signature often have larger signature set and a longer sign time. And uh, it is impossible to construct PKE or KM from hash functions only. Uh, so let's move to the LAN post one time signature. So suppose H is a cryptographic hash function. Uh, if we want to, uh, to, to uh, we first generate two n random number denoted by X, they are the security key, and we hash them to obtain the public key, that's a Y. Uh, in order to sign a message M, we first decompose M into a binary, and uh, we release corresponding X uh, as a signature. To verify some message, we first uh, uh, we check the signature, the hash of the signature against uh, Y. For example, if I want to uh, sign a message uh, 0, 1, 0, I will release those three X. So one time signature, it can only sign only can, can sign only one message. If we as a signer sign multiple messages, it uh, it is no longer secure. So suppose the signer signs another message one zero one, then the adversary can forge a signature to the message one one one. So actually, in this case, uh, the the adversary can forge any message, any signature to any message. So because because actually in this case the adversary uh, know all the uh, security key. So uh, so one time signature can sign only once. We want to get no more signature, which means we can sign multiple message. Uh, there is a, a tree based signature uh, paradigm that can convert. Uh, can construct a, a, a signature from one time signature. So suppose you have a large binary tree, and uh, each node of the tree is a one time signature. Uh, and we have a TRF to generate uh, nodes when we need it. So to sign a message, for example, zero one, we first we pick the uh, path from the leaf node to the pair to the root node, and uh, for each node in the past, we let the parent node authenticate is two children, and uh, the let the leaf node authenticate the message. So Sphinx Blast is a kind of is a variant of a tree based signature. And we can see uh, one time signature dominates the cost of Sphinx Plus, including both sign time and the signature size. So if we want to improve Sphinx Plus, we should focus on one time signature. Uh, let's go back to Lampos one time signature. So Lampos in Lampos one time signature, we encode only one bit message uh, by one hash value, which is lambda bits. Lambda is a security parameter. This is uh, inefficient. So in order to improve it, uh, Winter needs proposed so called Winter needs one time signature. So let's first consider the naive version. So uh, first, the signer generate n random number denoted by x, they are the secret key, and uh, hash them repeatedly w minus one times to get the public key. To sign a message, 
the signer first decompose the message in base w and uh, release corresponding uh, hash value. To verify a message, the verifier uh, hash the signature to the public key. For, for example, I want, if I want to sign a message 0 to 1, I will release those three uh, X. Uh, so does it mean we can encode log W bit message on a length W chain with only one hash value? Uh, no, uh, it is uh, not secure for the naive version one-time feature. So suppose uh, the, the signer sign a message zero to one, the adversary can forge a uh, M prime one, two, two by uh, release those three uh, red hash value. So actually the adversary can forge any message, any, any message M prime such that uh, M prime is greater or equal to m. It means for each coordinate, m prime i is greater or equal to m i. So uh, how to fix it? So there is a simple uh, solution to, 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 to fix it. We, instead, instead of encoding the original method, we encode the, the encoded message. We need to ensure the encoded message is incomparable. That's to say, uh, neither encoded M is uh, greater, is small, is less or is less than or equal to encoded M prime. No, uh, encoded M uh, is greater than or equal to the encoded M prime. So we can encode. Uh, so we can append the complement uh, message, co complementary message to the original message, where the complementary mi is w minus one minus m mi. So if so, so we can prove that if there are two message, two distinct message m and prime prime, uh, such that they are the encoded message are comparable, then we can uh, conclude that m is m prime. This is a contradiction. So we uh, so we complete the proof. So there is a clever way to encode them. Uh, instead of encode the, uh, append the complementary message, we append the checksum of the complementary message. So we can also prove that if there are, uh, there are two distinct message M and prime, such that they are comparable, there will be a contradiction. So this so-called uh, checksum when uh, when turn is one time signature encoding uh, is used in Sphinx Plus and uh, Christmas. And we can have a better solution. That, that This is our solution. In, we encode the message to a space, so-called uh, constant sum space. Const constant sum means for each vector or code word in the space. The sum of uh, sum is a constant. So it means uh, the sum of vi is a fixed number. We can also prove that uh, if two distinct message, uh, if, if two dis distinct message such as the encoded message are comparable, there will be a contradiction. So we, so so they are not comparable. Uh, actually, the concept of constant sum return is, is not new. So, uh, Wondernay discovered it in the 1990s. But at that time, we don't know how to efficiently encode them. It means we need a polynomial time or practically efficient encoding algorithm to encode the message from uh, binary string to constant sum uh, space. So we first figure out how to count them. We can count, we can exactly count how many constant sum code word do we have. And we have a, a efficient a polynomial time 
uh, encoding algorithm to encode the message from band string to uh, constant some for the world. Uh, so overall, the, we can reduce roughly 2% the signal size and hash function cost. And uh, our uh, constant sum encoding is stable, has uh, have stable computing time. It means that the number of hash, hash function cost is fixed. So uh, we replace the one time signature in sequence pass with our constant sum one time is one time signature, and we return the parameter of sequence pass. So the result is both the signature side and the same time are selected better as the verification time increased. Uh, thank you.